Oh, sweet. A new Jason Bourne movie's coming out. Yeah, I already saw it, and it really should be like Jason Boring, because it just really put me to sleep. You know, the fact that I just got warm water and you just said that hurt my feelings. I'm sorry, but ultimately, the best spy, the best spy, 007, hands down. We had like a hundred movies about There's them. like a million 007s, they can never keep the same one. You, you know who's an awesome spy? Who? Arnold from freaking True Lies. There's no way he's a spy. That guy's totally too huge. Spy. He, he cannot can... be inconspicuous ever. Inspector Gadget. He's an inspector. He's still like covert ops and has stuff that pops out. He's not. He's jumping over cars and his little... No, no. you know what? The best spy in the world is the one that you least suspect. Okay. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean? Yeah. He's too dumb to be a spy. That makes it perfect. Absolutely not. Guys, I gotta stop you for a second, cause like, I gotta tell you, the only best spy that's ever been and ever will be is Susan Cooper, Melissa McCarthy, spy, done. Dude. You're done. Shouldn't you yeah. be at work already or something? Dude, I'm Seriously. I'm, 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 I've accumulated my breaks. I haven't taken a break all week. So you're using them all at once? Yeah. It doesn't work like that way. I'm spying in this break room, alright? Leave me alone. guys we're back break room blitz thanks for watching us what do you guys think of my shirts this time yeah i got the old school nes I got the best shirt. this guy i just forgot yeah i know i'm In sorry incognito for the spy movie oh, yeah. i like I, your style I'm, I'm going incognito we're done all right i'm living here how did you see me <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so on today's episode we're gonna be talking about jason bourne fourth installment of the bourne Universe, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, we're just going to do the rundown. Who we have in it. Don't worry. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, of course, no. we have Matt Damon as a, as a spot. We got him back. Not Damon. You know, uh, Tommy Lee Jones is a newcomer. I don't think he was in any other, other ones. Right, no. Alicia Vikander, she's in it. She didn't really do too well to me. She was the but tech guru, kind of like stepping stone. I mean, she, what she knew was cool, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vincent Cassell. I don't know what else he's been in. He's been in Ocean's 13, I want to say. One of the Ocean's movies. As what? He was another spy kind of in there. He was like kind of like his solo like thief kind of thing. Well, he was the uh, opposite thief. Like, they were both trying to steal... Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. And then we have... One of my favorite actresses as a kid, I guess, or growing up, like a teenager, uh, Julia Stiles. What was she in? Um, she was in Save the Last Dance. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one scene where they're like, oh. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She had some, some swag to her. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I, I was... Oh, I was and glad 10 Things I Hate About You, right? Oh, yeah. yeah she, she was in that. Oh, yeah. 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 All See? Right. Cool. Growing up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know, now she hasn't been anything in a while, though, and I was hoping I was going to see more of her in this, yeah. in this movie. Yeah, it was, yeah, a lot it of was kind of cut short, if you know what I mean. She didn't age too well, though, I felt like. Uh, her really? face looked kind of I wasn't going to call it out, but I'll let you, I'll let you go ahead and that go about. <laughs> she didn't age I think that was special well. effects, really. I don't know. That's... No, she didn't age too well. Yeah, she used to have really nice fair skin. I, I guess that's horrible. I bet you then we get chewed out for picking on her, but uh, it, it, she definitely looked different. The, cause, I mean, I guess we haven't seen her in so long that the progression is just like, whoa. Well, I definitely saw that in Matt Damon. He had like a lot more crow's feet, you know, a little bit more wrinkles. Yeah, but well, they showed him as a little kid, though. All right, like as a, a, a yeah, young much, adult. Yeah, much younger. Yeah, right. uh, a young w uh, William Hunting. Right. We <laughs> haven't seen her in like ten years, and all of a sudden, boom, is what we get. It's like, oh. If you also look at Tommy Lee Jones, like you can really see oh, the, the, the like he looks yeah, like he, he looks sick. Yeah. His yeah. face just those fell. bags underneath his eyes. I was yeah. like, yeah. oh my god, you don't the, want no makeup, man. There was that scene <laughs> in the elevator where he's like getting this look, and he looked really de demonic. Like maybe you should just put me in a horror film next, but. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, he's he's getting a little old. He should be uh, one. Of the, he's one. He should do uh, uh, a rendition of the old Grumpy Men. Oh, okay. you guys yeah. saw that. Yeah, yeah. I think he's old enough for that now. Yeah. Um, all right. So basically, Jason Bourne comes back. 
um, Julia Stiles ends up finding him, and that's how they end up, you know, starting the story off. Um, we're gonna just throw it out there. I we didn't think it was that good, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, it really just was. It was pretty slow. Yeah, you know what? It it it, it kind of had my attention uh, towards the beginning of the movie, but after the, like I want to say maybe that twenty minute mark, like it slowed down to a like halt. I mean, there was like no chase yeah. afterwards and typically within these born movies he's like constantly moving i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go and we kind of had some of that but it was in the background and what they showed us was just like like okay let's go into the next office okay let's go into this office uh, did you find them no did you find them we're looking yeah it was, just, it was a repetition of the old movies like they, there was no plot twist there was nothing it, it, fun it was story. a repetition yeah and, just, and i saw them use like little things here and there from the previous movies and they took the, what they did in the beginning of the second one where the girl gets shot in the suv it's the same thing in this one i'm like i've seen that already right from the same series of movies exactly like yeah. not like you're coming from a different movie yeah in the same universe. In the yeah. same one, yeah. Like, come on. It come wasn't on. even that original because it was still in a chase. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> By a sniper. <laughs> it was like copy, paste, done. Right. <laughs> and the last one was even better, or the, the, the one in the second one was better because he had to shoot past Bourne to the passenger. Mm -hmm. This one was just like, oh, I'm going to shoot her in the back. Boof. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even like really that much skill in it. Right. Yeah. So it just wasn't that, that great. You know, I. I didn't like the first the chase in the beginning. It was it seemed pretty lengthy to me mm -hmm. and anticlimactic, it really. Did. Yeah, because mm -hmm. so actually all the chases, like even the chase scene, the last chase scene we saw, it, it just I'm sitting there going like, all right, you guys get done yet? Because I don't, I haven't seen anything like amazing yet. Like, Nothing. At all. Now, now I saw the Born Ultimatum over the weekend just to like re give myself a little refresher because I remember seeing the first two quite heavily, but the Ultimatum one I didn't see it so much. And when you talk about the car chases. He did have a car chase in that one where he drove a car off the building, got into a different car, did another car chase, and then like slammed the SUV and all that stuff, you know? So it was like, you know, he's driving a little car, and the bad guy's in the bigger car. Same thing in this one. It's like copy-paste again. But this one was so unrealistic. That, that last car yeah. chase, that uh, SWAT van. There was a truck. SWAT van in, in the middle of Vegas. Was right? that was, it must have been made out of the same stuff that the Millennium Falcon is made of because <laughs> it, it had no damage it. at all. Adamantium. <laughs> Cap, <laughs> with Cap Shield in the front, you know? <laughs> it just yeah. plowed through everyone. Go through like 50 cars, car lands on top of it, goes through two buildings, no scratches, no paint, no dents, no nothing. Nope. That thing was all gas. Right. Like, that thing was going faster than a Camaro. Like, I'm like, no. Yeah. yeah. No. It was, it was moving. It, it was the juggernaut of trucks. Right? Yeah. And then, you know, the best thing that they, that they kind of gave you in the preview, they mess up on the actual movie. Yeah. So the, the punch that they do in the preview, they totally mess that up. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, in the trailer, right? Right. Where, where like, it kind of shows, you know, Jason Bourne, you know, like, oh, where's he been for a while? And, like, he's cage fighting almost. Right. Right? The one thing that got us interested in the movie. They showed us a different scope. Yeah. It was it was not from the other guy's perspective of him falling. It was from um, Jason Bourne's perspective. And it was, like, kind of, like, shaky almost. Like, I didn't get that impact. Yeah, we didn't actually see the fist connecting. You, all you saw was the guy's back of his head. Right. And they were like, okay, now what? Uh, I mean, like, what's the signal? Why are we here? Right, yeah. I didn't understand why we were here. Yeah, exactly. See, the thing is, yeah. they had a second fight, and they, they should have kept it more like that because it seemed like he was just doing those fights to stay in cahoots with his technique and, and then taking a punch. Because the second fight, that's what he was doing. He was taking a bunch of punches. Right, yeah. And then once he saw the, you know, Julia Stiles' character, that's when he went, did his thing, you know. But it was yeah. just like, it seemed like it was, it was a lot of place. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, definitely out of place. I mean, that along with that shaky camera was just like, you know, they, they try to make it like really suspenseful and like yeah. moving around and like everything's hectic, right? But I'm like, okay, this is kind of overwhelming. When you do that to, to me, when the camera is shaky, things are blurry and choppy, even like fight scenes, that to me, what that is telling me is that the actual live shot was terrible. It wasn't believable. So we had to chop it up so so much, or we had to make it real shaky so you can't really see the details. Right. And I don't like, to me, it's, it's really cheesy, really 
cheap way of filming. It's filler yeah. almost. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like to actually see the swing. I know we're not actually hitting people in, in, in movies, but I want to see the swing. I want to yeah. see connect. I want to see his head go back. Yeah. I don't want all this choppy choppiness going right. on. Right. Yeah. I can't see what's happening. Just have it so fluid. I mean, they did perfect with all these other movies, you know? Exactly. In the first one, when he fights that assassin with the pen, and then when he uses the book, you know, right. he's always using something, you know? Does he jump through the window in, in the movie? Because in the preview, he's jumping through a window. No. Oh, no, uh, I don't think he did. I don't I remember seeing that. Yeah, I don't remember the seeing that. The preview is so deceitful. So you know when you go see a movie and you see a trailer, right? And in the trailer, they show you something, but it never shows up in the movie? That's exactly what happened with this. The whole trailer. And they edited it, you know? And it's just like, okay, I saw that, but from a way different <laughs> perspective. And I didn't even see this. <laughs> yep, no punch, no jumping out the window. And there's something else I know we forgot. I know we mentioned it earlier during the day. All I know is, uh, uh, yet again, these are one of the movies where, you know, we see the trailer and they show us probably the best parts of the trailer. Oh, when they're chasing the SWAT. In the trailer, he right. throw he pulls out oh, the, the, shotgun. the shotgun to shoot the tire. Oh, right. Never right. happens. No, yeah, they never happens. Either. No, yeah. Otherwise, that would have been the end. Right. <laughs> that would have been like the most like uh, high impact action adventure of that the movie. Would have been climactic. At some yeah. point. And how the police lose them? There's no <laughs> way the police should have lost them. No. Right. No. Like, oh my gosh! Come on now. They had you this whole time, uh -huh. and now they can't find you. Vanish, poof. Right. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and you lose a freaking SWAT car crashing every single car on the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Right. There's no trailer cars. Yeah. You don't see it. <laughs> Man, yeah. it, it, it just wasn't good, you know. Um, so you say you like the act the action. So th there were parts of the action that I did uh, like. Um, you know, I appreciated you know some of like the fast pace. Like I said, like in the beginning of the movie, especially like I, I kind of like the technical aspect. You know, when they were like looking for them, it's like I need this out of like bring them here. It's like okay, we got them here, and like they were like getting like kind of techy on that side. I was like, whoa, yeah, this is kind of okay, scary. Okay, so the movie <laughs> does appeal to tech guys. We're tech guys. So yeah. it, does, it does appeal to you there, and it does appeal to um, people who believe in conspiracy theories that the government is watching everyone. The government's like, you know, with the new Pokemon game. Yeah, they Pokemon say, oh, Go is like, like the government the Illuminati or, or something. Right. Yeah, through your it phone. Was, it was kind of like that. They had a guy that had some, you know, app that was going to, like, connect everyone together. And it was going to, um, but secretly it was, you know, it had the CIA behind it. Actually, you know, what actually yeah. kind of ticked me on that is the, the, the app was free internet for everybody. And there's another movie that they did that in. And I was just like, I feel like they kind of, they, they dropped the bomb on this one. Because uh, there's that one movie. Is that what it was? Oh, free? Yeah, oh the, was free. yeah, I know which. Uh, Kingsman. Kingsman, yeah. Kingsman did that. Samuel Jackson's yeah. character. Yeah. Kingsman. Mm. Kingsman was a great that was, spy movie. That was awesome spy movie. That was fantastic. I want more of that. Yeah. It's just that because that fell into a new world, a new genre, a new age. And they did something different. Yeah. They did do yeah, something different. Yeah, the girl with different. the uh, prosthetic legs, legs or whatever. Yeah. They did yeah. something different. This one was just... like. You, it was like an old, it was like they had some old script and they were like, oh, let's just use this real quick. Yeah, right, yeah. And then they didn't modify it at all. It was the first draft of the script and that's what they went with. Right. It's almost like yeah. one of those name brand things, you know, like you come up with a video game or you come up with a, some, a TV show that's been done before and people watch it because of the name. Yeah. And that's kind of what this is. You just, maybe you need an it's actual... Like, oh, Matt Damon's making a <laughs> Money grabber. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know? exactly. So uh, it's truly really, like it's a pity oh, that man. they did that because it, it has they could have potentially revamped that entire series and made it awesome. Oh, yeah. most definitely. Yeah. But there's so much fans like, that that are into those movies, and I even like the fourth one. Dude, this theater was. And this one does not does not live up to the fourth one at all. The, you the know what? The theater was packed. Half the other movies, <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters the some movies, it had more more people in it. Yeah. And I just feel like you know, okay, yeah, Hollywood, you're right. You literally drew people in based upon the name and. You know, you, you, you delivered us a veteran old school movie for a modern age. It just didn't work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we almost didn't want to do this review because of, of the how bad it was. But you know what? We do want to have some type of service to our fans. Yeah. And hopefully we'll save you some money. Um, <laughs> right. It's not worth going to go see special uh, on Tuesday if you want to see it on Tuesdays. Yeah, if you guys yeah. have like matinee, a five or, dollar theater yeah. that you know of, you know. Other than that, I would not spend fifteen bucks to go see that movie. Nah. Um, yeah, it just wasn't worth it at all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, as, as much as like there, there was a lot more hype behind it than anything. You know. Right. Uh, yeah. Matt Damon coming off of doing The Martian, that being nominated for some things, yeah. you know, and like, you know, we know that he's good, you know, in a lot of these movies, but this one, 
uh, I don't know, he had no personality, like really no character, even though he's like learning about like all these things. They talk about his father being in the movie and right, everything, right, but right. I didn't get anything out of it. All right, so what do you guys feel about like the emotions that were in the movie? Because the emotions do it for me with movies. So what do you guys? Feel yeah, about? I mean, you need to have character, you know, more than anything. And if you're gonna act like a spy, I get it. It's gonna be like a real like subtle character. But I mean, like, okay, Jason Bourne, he's lost his identity, and in the beginning of the movie, he's like, I remember everything, right? All, all except for like all this stuff that we're going to talk about in this movie, <laughs> basically, because because we're bringing up all these files, and he's like, "Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah. I had a dad that was in this, you know, and the car blew up and he died or something. I forgot all about that, but now I remember. Now I remember." She does say, "Just because you remember everything doesn't mean you know everything." Did well, she actually say that in the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yeah okay. Right. But I didn't think like, it was gonna go that far with it. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you know, the, the repetition of the movies. You know, you, you didn't bring anything to the table, and it's like, okay, so the first movie, he didn't know anything. He learned some stuff, came back, beat the crap out of people, figured it out. Next movie, he learned a little bit more. I'm, how many times is he gonna learn new things about it? Like, right. Get him in there so he knows everything from here on out, and, and give us a plot twist. It's like now, I mean, when you're dealing with like loss of memory, you know, that's not saying that you have a lack of character, you know. Ultimately, you know, yeah. be because I mean, when you think about it, the most iconic person's got to be Wolverine. He doesn't know anything, you know, <laughs> but he still has his own character, yeah, right? He's true. like hard as nails and just like you know. Yeah, he has emotions. You know, whatever. He gets angry, you know. He has emotions. Yeah. This and this whole cast was emotionless. Yeah. From Jason Bourne to um, Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee, and the Alicia, what's her name? I think it's Alicia. Something. Yeah, Alicia uh, Ben. Uh, the Steve other uh, um, CIA officer. Yeah. Just no yeah. emotions ever. Yeah. I'm like, what is going yeah, on? Like, everyone had really a straight face to the whole thing. Like, everyone. You, you couldn't get emotionally. It's even Matt Damon's character. You couldn't get emotionally attached to him. I think if anything, the only person you could kind of get emotionally attached to was uh, uh, freaking Julia Stiles. Like Julia Stiles, yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah, I think that's probably why the whole beginning sequence was good because you felt remotely attached to her because she, you know, she was the only one that was actually trudging through. So it's just like, right? She she went in and she got she found like these hackers. She hacked, you know, found a back door and like she had a sense of panic, yeah. like oh, I got to get this over to Jason, you know. Right. And she was like worried, you know, and she was like fearful for her life, and I got that. And then even to the last seconds of her life, was she just like, you know, whoa. But to me, there was no significance to her wanting to find that and then wanting to find Jason Bourne. Yeah. There wasn't a really, I'm like, why? What? Why? Because they got to make a movie. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. The whole case marker for this one was the new Iron Fist thing. They were expose Iron Fist and stop them again. And right. Because we had Treadstone yeah. and then we had Blackbriar and then this was a new program called Iron Hand. Yeah. And but, but did you well, see who those? Cared about it? They were all rebooted programs of the same thing. Yeah, but that's the other thing too is like actually she still won. There's still more. Because she didn't download all the files. If you looked at the download, it got to like 80%. So she's still missing files one. Oh, how convenient. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Two. I don't yeah. care. Well, see, this thing, like, I'm paying attention to these details. I'm like, okay, so she didn't get all the files. And then she pulls up this stuff. And there's 10 folders in there, which means there's there's been a total of 10 projects. And I'm sitting here going like, so these are all little minor details that if you incorporate the right way, you could you could make something pretty cool. But no. It's just, it, I have no... Uh, like interest in whatever if if the eighty percent that they gave us was whack, yeah. the twenty percent is gonna be just the same. Yeah, no. Well that's what I'm saying, they're gonna probably use right. it for movies. I don't th you know what they need to stop after this. Because they need a new director or a new writer, but do not be the, don't give me the same thing. No. I'm I'm really next time I'm not gonna go see it in the no. I'm not going to be tricked by your, your previews and your trailers that you give me. Right. Yeah. If I'm seeing a trailer for M. Night Shyamalan coming up with a new movie, then uh, those are red flags already. <laughs> <laughs> and that M. Night Shyamalan movie, the only reason why I'm intrigued by it is because it was an old movie. With Don't fall for it! <laughs> well, it's, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Because there was an old movie with John Cusack where he, where he um, it was the same thing. It was multiple personalities and it was such a great movie. It was called Identity or something? Yeah, and I yeah. love that movie. And it's just like, it reminded me of that. And then it's got a freaking um, McAvoy in it, so I'm sitting yeah. there going like, I like him as an actor, yeah, you know. But you know, the last, uh, 
The last movie I watched of Shyamalan <laughs> was the freaking that one where they jump over the wall and then they find out that they just in modern times. Oh, I'm the like, village, yeah. I'm like, are you ah, freaking serious? Like, you had signs and then this. Yeah. Even signs was kind of like a little disappointing. The end, you, you. Sorry, guys. We straight the away. best part <laughs> about the movie was the previews. <laughs> We're straight. Yeah. It happens. That happens. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> <laughs> He's come out with another movie, but so sorry. That was the, that's honestly that was like the best part of yeah. going to the theaters for this movie was the the upcoming trailers. Um, I, I don't I don't think there's anything else to me. A yeah. good movie, like I said in our um, first reaction, it needs to have action. It needs to have emotion, uh, fighting for sure. Otherwise, what am I here for? Yeah, we need a good plot. I mean, you know, it's just like oh, he's back. But I'm not, just, not I'm not just killing time and watching another movie. I want to be entertained. Right. Not just throwing this story at me and I just sit there and I'm like, okay, I'll wait for the yeah, next yeah, one. Let me just take it. So you just, just took my $15, yeah. you bastards. Right. right. That's exactly. what that equated to. It's like, time is money, man. But, yeah, I mean, there was so much more that they could have done and just fell flat. And, I mean, I started dozing off, like, halfway through the movie. Yeah, I was trying my hardest, my hardest to push through it because... I can't review a movie I want to sleep to, so I was pushing. I was like, "No, fight! <laughs> it's gonna get good." No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. But it didn't. <laughs> and that, the face he's making right now is the face you you see through ninety percent of the movie. <laughs> yeah, everyone was just no. Right. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Yeah. Wake up! Yeah, you guys are cold. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Don't go see it. I, I have to go. Okay, so break room blitz. It's our blitz time. Yeah. I'm just go with it. There's ah, there's no no real action for me. It's, everything is choppy. It's kind of like a, a cheap way of presenting an action movie. Uh, there's no emotion from anybody, and for me, I always mention intellectual value. There's none. I, I I didn't say, "Wow, oh my gosh, oh, I didn't think about that." None of that happened. It was just very flat. It was a very flat movie, and they just whatever they got, whatever they gave you, that was it. There was nothing else to it. It it was exactly what you saw. What you saw, it's what you see, what you get. So I'm gonna give it a four, for sure. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. But for an action movie with the title Jason Bourne on it, it just didn't live up to it, to, to you know my expectations. So I'm gonna give it a four for sure. I, I gotta a hundred percent agree with it. Like everything and that, from my perspective, the movie started off pretty strong, and like we said, Julia Stiles' character carried it through because I'm all for the hacker. Like un like give us all the truth. You know, is it worse than Snowden? And look at this hack and all this stuff and. You know, I was like, oh, okay, cool. We're actually bringing up relevant things. Right. And then it just, pitfall, done. And, you know, it, it, it got really slow, you know, and it lost my attention. Um, again, his character, there was really no development. He was just stone cold about it, the whole thing. Your dad died. Don't you want, <clears throat> go out for blood, dude. You know, yeah. you're not well, a spy. Well, I mean, he, that's all it was. It was just him going to kill somebody. And there was no climax. There was nothing. Right. And, I mean, it fell flat to that regard. Um, cinematography wise, that shaking camera, I was like, did they mean to do this? Or am I like not looking in the right area of this screen? Cause it was a big screen and I was like, okay, no, I can't be losing my mind. Uh, okay. This is just bad. I'm sitting here going, did you guys yeah. have any fucking tripods? Cause like, I feel like I'm watching the Blair Witch Project right now. Right. Exactly. And so, I mean, you know, all that accumulated with just like the plot and Please don't do another one like this, you know. Don't waste my time. Don't waste all of our time, yeah. uh, especially coming off of these great movies from the past. Yeah. So, I mean, my rating, it's got to be 4 out of 10. And I thought about it, and yes, definitely that deserves the proper score, for me at least. So Okay. <clears throat> so, I want to be a bit more cruel. Oh, okay. Um, so, Go essentially, I'm sorry, it didn't give me the hero to villain complex. I didn't feel it. Mm. I didn't feel attached to a character. Yeah. And hero to villain is a key essential. That's I have to be. True. I feel like in, in most great movies, you have to root for both sides. You kind of want to want the villain to win sometimes because he's just that badass. He's, but it's just like, this didn't do it for me. Storyline wasn't there. Character development wasn't there. You just gave me a very shaky, semi action packed movie with underdeveloped characters yeah. and no hero to villain complex. You get a two. 
Yeah. Two. Hollywood, get your shit together because that was that was. <clears throat> no, sorry, I, I should give it a one, but it's Matt Damon. You gave it a two. <laughs> <laughs> Not Matt Damon. One vote for Matt Damon. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. And one vote for the title. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. One for the title, one for, the, one for Matt Damon. There you go. <laughs> right. So that's that's our rundown right there. I, it's, I, it's no other way that I can really explain it to you. It just wasn't good. It's not going to be a born movie that you are familiar with. If you didn't like part four, which a lot of people did not, I did. If you didn't like part four, you're definitely not going to like this one. Yeah. There's nothing nothing spectacular about it at all. Yeah. So I would say we're definitely not getting any Blu-rays for sure. Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> that will not be on the shelf. <laughs> I'm not even going to download it. Um, I already seen it. It was whack. I'm done with that. Right. Um, so if you want, maybe you could download it. Or stream it. I'm not telling you to do anything illegal, but I'm just saying you might. Red box, whatever it red is. Box, a dollar. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but then it costs money to even get to the red box, so that's even more. I don't know. Maybe you should just shouldn't watch it. At all. Yeah, just walk <laughs> down to the red box, play Pokemon Go on your way, hatch an egg, get a movie, Here, rent you want, it. You wanna you wanna hear the movie real quick? Um, he remembered more stuff because he was told about more stuff, and then he went to go take action on the more stuff. And when he got there, he found out more stuff. And then all of a sudden, he takes out the guy that has all the stuff, and then the, it ends. And it's That's pretty much movie. walking through the whole thing. It's all in slow motion. There you have it. There's no like running anywhere. He's just walking. Yeah, talking Same. slow, no emotion. Yeah, so it wasn't good. So. All right, guys, so that's our review. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. If there's any movies you guys want us to review, let us know. We would definitely consider those. We're going to give a shout-out to our boy Jason Cole. Cole. We did see yes, your uh, request. We're going to go ahead and check that out. Shogun and Assassins. Definitely. Yeah. It looks good. So, yeah. all right, guys, I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Conch. And we're out. Peace. Peace. Later. Ooh, there you are. Please tell me you saw Star yeah, Trek. I got some cold water. Star Trek. Uh, come on. Uh, yes, yeah, Star Trek, dude. Like the new one, Star Trek. It went beyond. Okay, okay dude. I saw it. It was. It wasn't beyond. Yeah, it was cool. It was level. It wasn't beyond, though. Dude, it was awesome. Man, how could you even say that? Just want to make an That's Inspector Gadget. No, it's no. It's dun 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 dun. Life is like. I guess that's not it either. Yeah. It's driving me crazy over here. It's freaking Ghostbusters. Dig it, did it, did it.